Welcome back everyone to Lamis Creations DIY. My name is Tammy. You are watching the Winter Edition. Let's start crafting. For this craft, you will need a canvas board. I picked up mine at Dollarama. It's 8 by 20 inches. I think I got it for $2.50. First one I'm going to do is remove it out of the package, of course. And then we're going to take the canvas off. Just using my rotary tool cutter, I'm going to slice along the edge along where the staples are and get that canvas off. I am so happy I picked up this rotary tool cutter. It makes things so much easier, especially for cutting fabric and stuff. Then, taking my mixture of blue paint, I'm going to paint the entire frame this color. Blue paint is like black and blue, and I mixed a whole bunch of colors in there to get this color. Probably never be able to mix it again, but I have enough for now. Then, taking my sheepskin chalk paint, I'm just, while the uh, frame is still wet, I'm going to rub it along the frame and smudging it in. Just to give it kind of like that snowy look. Going into my stash, I pulled out a bunch of uh, snowflakes. These are stickers and there was magnets, some little wood ones, and I've got some silver stickers and some other ones. So first what I do is I cut out the ones that I'm liking so that I can see when I'm placing them, how they'll look. And then I just start playing around with all the snowflakes, trying to figure out how I want this here project to look. I have an idea in my mind, but trying to lay it out, I was trying to see if I can bring it out from my mind. <laughs> so I just keep playing around and moving things around. And I was having a lot of troubles trying to get it to what I was thinking of, right? I just kept playing and looking and then I gave it a break. And I thought, I think it's because the background is white. So I painted the entire canvas with uh, this gray, I think it's called Parisian gray, it's a chalk paint. And then while it's still wet, I blend in this blue color, kind of almost making it look like it's stormy outside. And then let it dry. I have these little blocks, I believe they're dominoes for kids. What we're going to do is I'm going to glue all four pieces together side by side like this. Just a little hot glue and wiping off any of the glue that seeps out. Then taking my sheepskin chalk paint again, I give the entire thing a coat. I don't worry too much about the back because you're not going to see it. And then I go over it with the mixture of blue, blending that in while yes, the paint is still wet. Then I take a small chippy brush and I go in from the edges giving it a little bit of definition. Taking my white acrylic paint, I'm going to paint all the snowflakes. Wasn't sure how many I was going to use, so I just painted them all. Now our canvas is dry, we're going to attach it back onto the frame from behind. Laying it out and taking my staple lure, I'm just going to staple it along all the edges. making sure I get the frame. Then again, taking my rotary tool cutter, I'm going to cut off the extra all the way around. That rotary tool cutter can actually slice the wood on this frame. I know, because I did it. <laughs> now that this little piece is dry, we're going to take our letters that spell out snow, and we're going to hot glue them on top of this little piece just with some hot glue all along the edges and then I put a bunch on the little magnet because they're supposed to be magnets but of course I don't use them for magnets now figuring it out where I want it on my frame I want to put it in the center. So grabbing my ruler, I'm going to center it up as best as I can. And then using some hot glue, we're going to glue it down into the place. 
I stick some on the back and then on the bottom of this board and onto the frame it goes. Then taking various snowflakes, the sticker ones first, I'm going to lay down some Mod Podge. Pick a snowflake that I like, place it on top of the Mod Podge, and then Mod Podge on top of it. Stickers weren't very sticky and I didn't want these to fall off. And I continue adding them just in places here and there. There's some other silver snowflakes that I'm putting on now. I put some of those on. Just all over. And of course Mod Podge on top of those. And then when that's dry, oh yes, and I glue these little magnet snowflakes on the edges of the board that says snow. And then when the Mod Podge is all dry, I do another coat of Mod Podge on top of everything on the canvas. On top of the snowflakes, I'd have to dab and then everywhere else I would just rub it all in. Taking some nylon string, I'm going to measure out, cut off a piece, and then this string comes in three little pieces, so I separate the pieces. And then taking some hot glue, I hot glue one end to the back of the snowflake. And then on the other end, I tie two knots in the end. Measure it out, put a little dab of glue onto the frame, and then put that knot that we tied right into that glue and hold it for a couple seconds. And I do that for all the hanging snowflakes that I position on this frame. I think I use five. One, two, I think it's five. Little dab of glue, hold the knot in the glue. Cut off the extra string and that's what it looks like so far <laughs> now to make a bow i have the satiny ribbon i don't know where i got it from i cut off a piece frame it into an awareness ribbon scrunch it up into the center with my fingers and then taking another piece of that nylon rope i do a double knot and a little hot glue in between the two knots and clip it off cut my tails on an angle And I burn the ends so that they don't fray very lightly. You don't want to catch the whole thing on fire. Glue it into the corner of the frame. And then I take one of those little snowman magnets and I glue that right into the middle of the bow. Now, taking some more nylon rope, just thicker stuff, I tie a knot in the ends. I also cut off that extra little fray part. And then using my staple gun, I staple it into the frame. Just above the knot so it doesn't slip through. And when you're done with that, this project is complete. I would like to thank all of my subscribers for returning and constantly supporting me. You guys are the best. If you are new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to like this video and hit that bell. I hope everybody has a wonderful Thursday and we'll see you again next time. Bye!